The good old days off the SNES. The good old days, when people liked 8-bit games. Not the good old days, when people liked these kind of games. I was a big Mario fan at the time, since my sister showed me Super Mario World in the SNES. We played Super Mario World a lot and I mean a lot point we completed every single level possible in that game. My SNES is broken at the moment, since it is very old. Now I got it repaired. When I got it repaired I played every single game I had in the SNES like Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island, Super Mario All-Stars, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and more. I wanted not to play some Super Mario World but I couldn't play it, since it was very old, fell off to the ground multiple times, and was very dusty. Since my dad knew that I wanted to play Super Mario World he got me a new Super Mario World cartridge. Now of course it wasn't new and shiny, because games like Super Mario World couldn't be new in 2017. I rushed into my room to play Super Mario World. Now of course my SNES was old so it took a few tries to get the SNES to work. The first thing I saw was the familiar message, Nintendo Presents. After that I noticed something very weird. The Super Mario World logo was blue and in the background was a world map of which I don't remember. I ignored it. I chose what save file I wanted and started to play. I got on the world map. There was something odd about it. It was completely different than what I remember. I started at a level called 4W1. In that level I got a Yoshi. I didn't want to skip the other three levels so I moved to level 1. It started like I remembered. It was a different background. The giant bullet bill looked different. Got the rest of the level was the same. I moved to level 2. It wasn't that much different but it had some differences not the background was just tiles off the ground. Later in the level I saw a piranha plant that for some reason had a fish as a body. It was that fish that you can 1KO when it's not in the water, but this time it was a piranha plant's body. As soon as the piranha plant got to the surface of the pipe it had fireballs appear for me slash his whatever mouth point I got hit by the fireball and I lost my Yoshi. I knew that a piranha plant like that was in Super Mario Bros. 1 or Super Mario Bros. 3. I finished the level and went to level 3 point it was a short level that had block spelling test. What was test? 4. Well, since it was obvious I was thinking that this was a beta for Super Mario World. Now betas like this are rare. Now I got to level 5, since I completed level 4. It was a castle. I entered the castle level and as soon as I started it was a cutscene but it wasn't the usual one. It was a cutscene where there was a no Yoshi sign. After that cutscene I got into the castle. The castle had these weird glitchy backgrounds and glitchy piranha plants. I figured out the game was a beta so it was normal. As soon as I got to the boss door I entered it. The boss was Bowser himself. He was like in Super Mario Bros. 1. Of course I grabbed the axe and Bowser fell in lava. A message popped up saying, you're not supposed to do that yet. I ignored it. Because why not? When I got to the overworld map the castle was destroyed. Since it was a beta I could go to any level I wanted point I entered the final level of the beta. Because I wanted to see who was the final boss in the beta dot the castle was like Bowser's final castle from Super Mario World. But you had to go to every single door dot you know the doors and the numbers. Dot 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All of them. I lost many lives, but when I actually got through all of them it teleported me to a dark room. In that room it was a door. I was big Mario and I couldn't enter it. Why? Part of it was in the ground. And I had to wait until the time ran out to try to enter through that door. When I finally got to that door again I was a small Mario. I was to a room which had multiple other doors. Every door was a boss door. 
When I entered one it teleported me to a specific boss. The bosses which are behind the doors are the final version of the Super Mario World bosses and many bosses. I figured out that the programmers and testers tested how these bosses work, and if they work. Now there was one extra door which was weird. It was for small Mario in the ground again. I had to die again. Anyways, when I entered that door the boss was well let's just say not good. It was a glitchy mess which used any textures it could find. After a lot of deaths and game overs I finally beat it. When I beat it a message popped up, congratulations you completed Super Mario World. After the message I got to the door, entered it, and it was the end screen, except it was only Mario and Princess Peach. I still own the cartridge to this day in my collection.